Okay, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking, in the figure, a laser position on a ship is used to communicate with a small two-man research submarine resting on the bottom of a lake. The laser is positioned 12 meter above the surface of the water and it strikes the water 20 meter from the side of the ship. The water is 76 meter deep and has an index of refraction of 1.33. And the first question is asking, most of the laser light is refracted through the in interface, though some, of, some is reflected. Find the angle of reflection from the surface. Now let's see how we can figure it out. Let's draw a sample diagram before we do, the, do this question. So we have this one right here. So this is water and this is laser light is going through this way. So let's say this is our laser light and some of them are reflected and also we have some of them refracted right and uh, we have to draw a normal to this one so normal so here the main thing is the laser lights the angle that laser light make with normal let's say this is theta that is equivalent to reflected angle right so if I can find this angle that's going to be equivalent to this one so we don't have to separately calculate this one if we can find this we can we, we can say that is equal to this one and this one let's say this is phi and this is theta. Now the first question is asking for the theta. Now let's see how we can figure it out. So first of all we know that the distance is 20 meter. So if I say this is 20 meter this should be also 20 meter right? 20 meter and we know that height of this shape is 12 meter so this should be this height also 12 meter so from this one we can use tan theta to solve our problem because opposite of adjacent we can use that to find our angle so if we use tan theta tan theta is going to be equal to opposite over adjacent here opposite is 12, 20 and uh, adjacent is 12 right so if we solve for theta, the theta is going to be tan inverse 20 over 12. And if you find this angle, that's going to be equal to 59.04 degree. So this is going to be the angle of angle for this one too, right? So these two are 54. 54 degree. 59.4. fifty nine point zero four right fifty nine point zero four degree so that's going to be the angle of reflection reflection so we have done with the first part now the second question is asking how far horizontally is the submarine from the side of the ship right so to find this one so submarine so this is going to be the submarine's distance so wherever the, the laser light is meeting, so this is the submarine. Now we know this this is 20 meter and this one we have to find out. So let's say this is y. So they are asking for the horizontal distance from the ship. So we know the ship is right here and 20 and if I draw a normal, this is our y right here, right? So we have to find uh, this this distance this distance right here so we know that this angle is phi from our diagram this also phi right here so we have to calculate a phi first because we know the height right here but if we can find out the phi then we can solve for this y so to find out phi we can use this Snell's law uh, Snell's law says that 
एन ए साइन ए इज इक्वल टू एन बी साइन बी स्मेल स्लो सो एन ए इज एयर्स इंडेक्स ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन दैट्स ऑलवेज वन एंड देन साइन बी इज दैट एंगल ऑफ दिस angle that making with normal so here we have laser light the laser lights angle with the normal that is 59.04 we found out already so we can use that one right here sine 59.04 degree and nb that's mediums index of refraction that's provided right here so they have given that index of refraction is 1.33 for water so we can use that one right here 1.33 and sine b so that's what that's the one we are trying to find this angle sine b now if you solve for this one this is going to be sine b is going to be equal to 1 point actually sine 59.04 degree over 1.33 therefore b is equal to so let's say this is p instead of b so p is equal to sin inverse sin 59.04 degree over 1.3 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 40.15 degree now we have this angle this angle is 45.15 degree now again we can use tan theta to solve this problem because opposite of adjacent tan phi is going to be opposite of adjacent opposite is y and adjacent is 76 and y is going to be equal to 76 times tan phi and we know the angle already that's 45.15 so 76 times tan 45.15 15 degree and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 84.1 meter so that's going to be the final answer i hope you guys find this video helpful actually you know so this is uh, this distance is 64.1 and this plus 20 that is total uh, distance is going to be 84.1 right so this this is actually 64.1 then the question is total distance so 64.1 total distance is equal to 64.1 plus 20 and that's going to give you 84.1 and that's going to be the final answer thanks for watching see you next time